All right, here's uh, the, today's little repair job. Um, this is a, uh, I believe it's a clutch actuation lever of some sort off of a BMW motorcycle. Um, it's, it kind of looks like a, uh, an aluminum forging to me. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at the parting lines and stuff like that, but I'm, it's possible it's die cast. I'm not sure. Uh, it's pretty, listening to the high pitch ring, it's pretty high tensile stuff here. Um, and by the way, it broke too is kind of an indication too. It wasn't a ductile failure. It was a, it was kind of a, actually a catastrophic failure. So I don't know if it got hit. Doesn't look like it got hit in particular, but, uh, um, so we're going to, you know, this is a guy at work. Uh, he asked me if I'd help him out and I said, yeah, sure. I'll help you out. And, uh, um, so we're gonna we're gonna try to weld this thing and see how it is, right? See what what alloy this is uh, if it uh, behaves itself. Uh, there's no good way to tell on this stuff. So uh, anyway, it's an interesting um, fixturing problem. Uh, you know how we're gonna hold that in nice alignment and whatnot. Right now, because of the fracture, it, it aligns itself real well. So what we want to do is kind of fixture it together uh, um, and uh, get some weld on that. Okay. Um, Anyway, so it had a little needle bearing in it, okay, and that was in this uh, this journal right here, or this this housing. And uh, a little trick that I use is uh, I use gauge pins, uh, you know, as pressing tools sometimes. Um, you know, if you're not beating on them, it's not particularly harmful to them. Um, and you can get just the size that you want. Uh, uh, if you have a full set, you know, you can get just the size you need for uh, for doing something like that. So that's just another little use of those that uh, that's pretty good. And, you know, if if you wreck one or whatever, these are only three or four bucks uh, from McMaster Car, so uh, you can get another one easy enough. So, okay. All right, so let's get this set up, and um, we're going to use a, uh, we're going to actually use a mini pallet on this to uh, to hold this. All right. So it's got a, a good, a good, a decent reference surface uh, on it here. So let's pin the first piece down here, like so. And uh, we'll get that kind of locked down. Now, you know, guys are probably wondering, hey, aren't you going to V that out? Uh, you know, and the answer is yes, but I'm going to do it kind of in a different order than uh, than you might normally uh, you might normally do it. So. Okay, so we get a nice registration that way. And then, and you can see what I use for a heel block there. I just put a screw in there uh, um, and uh, adjust it. Uh, that looks pretty good. So, okay. Right, let's, see, let's get that where I want it. So I'm aligning the fractures, the fracture surface. All right, Let's pin that down. Okay, so you see it's it's locked down pretty good, and I've got I've got uh, good registration on my crack. Okay, yeah, that sounds kind of funny, huh? So you know you could V this out ahead of time but then you lose all that really wonderful alignment surface okay so what we're gonna do instead is um, you know now that I've got it fixtured together so one thing you can do is you can kinda just tack it in one area and then flip it over and then then you can start actually doing your uh, your weld prep work so that you don't lose that in that registration but in this case we've got it pinned down pretty good so I'm just gonna and you guys knew that there was a file in, in our life here, right? You know, you guys know how much I love the file. And you see, it's just going to take a minute here to get a good, get a good weld prep there. You know, round files, because of the curvature, they actually cut really, uh, really fast because the, the pressure on that, that point is actually very high. And this aluminum feels actually pretty, pretty, you know, kind of high tensile just by the way it's filing, you know. All right, 
I'm gonna go a little more. So let me let me get this prepped up a little bit, and then we'll get a we'll get a tack on that, and then we'll roll it around and continue on. Okay, so I get the weld prep on here, and you can see that I kind of dug down in there. So this is gonna be our first uh, tack here in this area. Um, we're gonna try. This is a 40-43 filler rod, and um, which is, you know. When you're not sure what you have, uh, it's probably a good place to start uh, with uh, 4043. So we'll try getting an attack on that. Uh, some people might be saying, "Oh my God, that's a big heat sink there." But in reality, the you know the contact is is quite small, so the heat transfer across that should be minimal. And uh, we're going to be pumping some amps into that, uh, some amperage into that, so we should be able to get that. Uh, to uh, to weld nicely. All right, so uh, I think I'm ready to go. Fire up, contact. Let's see what happens. Okay. So. I the initial arc, um, uh, the tungsten's rounding off a little bit, uh, but more importantly, I'm looking at the material um, and how it's flowing, and I think we're going to be fine. It looks like it's it's flowing well, and uh, so it's going to weld okay. So I'm not so worried anymore. <laughs> And as you can see, I get a nice tack. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just give a good one. Okay. All right. So let that cool for a second. Then I'm going to flip it and then uh, and do some more uh, weld prep. Switched over to the vise just because it was easier to hang on to it. side and uh, we'll be looking good.
I think there's uh, that spitting that you're hearing is uh, fumes that are coming out of this hole. They're kind of igniting. So I think there's still some lubricant in that uh, in that hole. All right, it's looking pretty good. Going a little more well well build up in this area right here, right there. Take a look at that. All right, so there's the completed weld repair, and it looks like I think I want to just take a look. I'm going to leave the weld reinforcement on there just because you know it's a repair to a forging or a casting here, so we want as much on there as we can have. But there's a kind of a machine flat area here too, and I just want to make sure that I'm. Uh, then I'm okay there. So uh, now this has a safe edge on it here. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll have them handy here. I'm just gonna take a little off. So this this stuff's pretty gummy here. Actually, I should probably get some uh, some. You know what? I'm gonna use a different file here. This one here. This is a curved tooth file here. Um, it doesn't load up as badly. Some pesky noise, huh? pretty good. Okay, he just kind of tapered it back a little bit so that whatever, you know, I don't know what sits on that. Uh, I don't want it to interfere with that. So, okay. All right, so I think that's it. You guys can kind of see that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. That's all he gets. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.